everybody hello hello and welcome today i'm going to work on my november journal and i still haven't decided yet whether it's going to be one signature or two but we'll see how we progress with the one first and see if we're still keen to progress on to a two signature uh, i have done little bits in it um I, I want to put a big sort of probably a gusseted envelope or something on there but i'll leave that for the time being uh, I stamped this and coloured it. It just kind of goes with the rest of the kit, really. Um, and then on the back of that, I've put a pocket with a little uh, tag in it. That's one of the jelly plate uh, prints. Just a little tag and some ribbons. And I wanted something that just went nicely with this Edith page. And I think it does. I think it, you know, picks it all up. That's one of the green leaves with the inky backgrounds. So I don't want to do anything to Edith. She's too good to mess with. I do want to do something with a craft page. Um, or maybe the back of the craft page. I don't know. Yeah, no, that side, I think. Um, and what else have I done? I put some stamps on that, the short page that I had and a bit of uh, lace down the side. They're lovely. I sort of double stamped those. I, I tapped the stamp with yellow in that case and then went straight over the top with red. And you get this kind of lovely mottled look, which I really like. Um, that is definitely going to be left untouched. I just adore that. But the, I'll put something on there that will go with these mushrooms, toadstools, whatever they are. That needs something on it. That's being untouched. And then here, I think this might be the only other thing I've done, really. <clears throat> I made a craft, uh, I've got craft paper so it's quite thin, uh, envelope and I put a liner in it so I think it looks quite nice, little just a bit of a collage here and it needs a tag or two in it. I've stuck it all down so you can't get anything in behind it because there wasn't really room, it's right off the, it's right off the page anyway. So that I think is all that I've done. So back to this and what we're going to do here. Well, I've got some ribbon that I thought would make a really nice belly band. I'll show it to you, see what you think. It's gorgeous. Look at that. It's really nice. It's not showing up to its best. Maybe maybe because I've got the curtains open, I don't know. Um, so if I, I think I need to put it onto paper because it's going to, a card, because it might just stretch a little bit. But let me just cut off the bit that I want. It's got wire edges. So you could make beautiful bowls out of it. And in fact, if I don't use too much, I might use it on the on the cover. It's lovely. So let's get ourselves a piece of card cut. Right, is that square? It doesn't look square, is that square? Is it square or my eyes off square? Who's to know? Yeah, it might be square. So the ribbon is measures that much. <laughs> so I want my, where's my pencil? I want that much is what I want. I've got a really sore left arm, which is a bit of a shame because I'm left-handed. Some years ago, many years ago, I smashed my arm playing squash, would you believe? <gasps> what a stupid thing that was to do. Um, yeah, I broke it in three places. And it's been fine. For years it's been fine. And now all of a sudden it started to hurt. I don't know why. Right, so let's cut this off there. Needs to be pretty exact. There we go. So that should be okay. Let's have a look and see if it is okay. It's perfect. My goodness me. Right. So let's see what length we need. Let's just take this sheet out of the journal. It would be a darn sight easier. Uh, 
Right, so it's going there. <coughs> I don't think I want it to have a gusset. You can gen I don't want to put too much under here. So, you know, one journal card I'm sure will slip in no problem. So that's that. I just want it flat with no bent over bits, as in a gusset. <laughs> that's what I mean by bent over bit. Trim this off there and we should be okay. Lovely. Keep that just to mount things on. Right, so now I'm going to stick this onto here. And I'm going to use my collal. It does stick fabric uh, really quite well. But I really just want a little bit. I don't want masses. Because it'll just come through and then it makes a dark mark and it doesn't look nice. So just going to put some on and I'm going to take a credit card and smooth it out and pick up any excess. So let's just smooth that out and smooth this out. And where's my dirty towel? Here it is. And just pick up any excess that's floating around. Right, let's get this on here then. Oops. I'm going to do it from the back actually. I hope I've got enough glue on there now. Doesn't feel very gluey. Yeah, if you do it from the back, you can. manhandle it so it ends up pretty perfect there we go that's all right isn't it just get my bone folder <coughs> give that a good press down <coughs> excuse me right so let's just check that that's going to be all right yeah i believe it is now i'm I oh, see I haven't got enough glue on there. Mm. Yeah. I'm gonna have to do that again. This has obviously absorbed more than I had bargained for. Might just smooth it out with my finger. Much as I hate doing it, because I really hate that feeling, but I think it might be the way forward on this occasion. So I'm just going to even it out really, rather more than lift it. I haven't even got the fire on in here today and it's quite warm isn't it? It's drying this off. Right, so that's going on there. Turn it over again and we'll place it as we did before. like that. Yep, that's lovely. Let's hope it's stuck this time. I think it should have. There's quite a bit of glue on there. Right, I don't want to cut the ends off there because it'll look abrupt. So what I'm going to do is just fold it over like that. Um, it's staying there because of the wired because it's wired in the sides. So let's stick that down. This doesn't matter if the glue comes through or not, because nobody will see it. Oh, might need a bit more up there. It's a bit longer than I thought. So we just take it, fold it over on itself like that. Ooh, this stuff doesn't want to stick. It's only like hessian burlapy stuff. I don't know why it's so against sticking. I can see it coming through the fabric, so I'm guessing it's going to stick in a second. Let's just take that long tail off because that will annoy us later on. 
and then the same with this end here we should then have a nice neat finish on our belly band you can make a bookmark in fact I might make a bookmark later on in the journal if I've got somewhere suitable for it just fold that over a little bit of wire sticking out there so I'll just use my best scissors to chop it off <laughs> oh dear don't do what I do <laughs> do what I say there we go so I just need to persuade that to stick that's it lovely lovely job so there's our oh isn't that pretty that is gorgeous and it's got that lovely feel to it you know that you only get with fabric really um so let's do that and hope that that's okay yes that's just perfect right so now i just need to work out where i'm going to put it um it, this page measures um just a tad over five and a half so that would be two and three quarters would be half of that oh my goodness me get your maths sorted out don't you so that would be the halfway mark there and two and three quarters here that would be the halfway mark there so it's just something for me to aim at really that half of that wants to go there let's let's put some glue on You know, I've got loads of Christmas ribbon like this. I'm just coming up a little bit just so as it's not going to be floppy. That's about there, I'd say. Stick that down. Don't want to stick it onto the other page. Yeah, I've got loads of like um, this sort of ribbon, but Christmassy, that I've got. Oh, I don't know now two or three years ago from Hobbycraft or the range or somewhere like that after Christmas they were selling them all off for 99p and I thought oh I'll get those those will be really handy and I got them and I've never ever used them because I couldn't quite fathom out how to use them really because they're so wide and they're wired and everything else but I think this might be the way forward because you could also make a side pocket with that you could do all sorts of things really to be honest with you so let's get some glue on here so if you're sitting on a nest of cheap wired ribbon that you've got and you're wondering what on earth to do with it this might be the solution let me just check that square so it doesn't look square That's an inch and a half there. Oh, got the jitters this morning. Oh, it is square. That's a shocker, isn't it? So let's stick that down then with intent, with purpose. There we go. I'm just going to put some clips in that because I think it will help. Oh, those are my long ones. I don't need them. These are my short ones and my little weenie bin. It was Nancy that sent me some of these first off. I didn't even know they existed. Um, you know, even for sewing, I'd never uh, come across them before. Nancy sent me a pack. And, uh, oh my goodness, they are so good. You've got to be careful what you put them on because sometimes they can mark the your paper. You know, if it's soft and full of glue and s such like, it can mark your paper. But that's okay. Right, so we've got that. Doesn't that look nice? And I'll give some thought as to what sort of tag I want to put in there. Something quite plain, I think. I don't think we need anything over the top because that that's speaking all in you know it's shouting really it's shouting right so let's just put that back in where it belongs and move along the bus a bit see what we need to do 
that doesn't need any more I like that as it is but the back of it does because you see when you stamp I've been using archival um, and when and versifying and when you stamp this paper particularly when it's coffee stained but it, all the time it shows through so I don't want to leave that like that so let's take that out of there see what we're going to do with that um, I've got all my jelly plate prints here that's a nice one that would be quite nice hmm quite like that one oh no let's go through them all Actually, it turned out that there were some quite decent ones, actually. There's some that are a bit rubbish, but some that are okay. That's a nice one. That's a very nice one, isn't it? Should we use that? Just to cover it. I could make a pocket. I could make a pocket. In fact, that is what I will do. I will make a pocket. Right, so how much does it measure? How much does it measure? What does it measure? Uh, all in all, it measures three inches. But I don't, I want to leave that lace well, well enough alone. So I might say two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. But I want to fold a bit over on one side and fold the gusset over on the other. So I need to add an inch. So three and a quarter by, same here, I want gussets here, by six and three quarters. Yeah, I'm adding an inch on to what it actually measures so I can have half inch gussets. What did I say that was? Three three and a quarter let's cut that off first this is the one that's got full-on John Deere on the back but that's okay nobody will ever see it three and a quarter make sure to line it up straight up that line because it's been printed on sometimes it just distorts the paper a little bit by <laughs> I don't know why I bother measuring by six and three quarters right it's got a bit of a border on there six and three quarters well I'm going to be lucky aren't I because it doesn't measure that far but that's six. I think that's about right. Not far off anyway. I'll put that back in my pile of papers. And I'll just mark. Yeah, I'm well over. But that's better than being well under. Let's just mark where I need to score. There. And there right so I need to score half an inch all the way around this or whatever wherever those score lines are oh, that's a pain it's between two so there we go and down both along sides half an inch This one, then I'll check again that other one. Half an inch. Let's just see. That's where I've scored it. Yeah, that's all right. That's good where it is. So it's there. So let's just, ooh, let's just score up there. Right. Excellent. So take your scissors and cut into all the corners, all the
crease lines that we've made. Just notch them out. I think I'm going to have to take some sandpaper to the back of this because the John Deere, because it's got so much pa uh, paint on it, it's a bit rough to be honest. And I know nobody will feel it, but it might just impede the. Oh, let me take all this stuff off. Honestly, so much stuff in this room. It's incredible. Let's get some sandpaper. not to go through your paper if you can help it. Just want to make it a bit smoother. Yeah, that's better. Old John Deere wasn't doing us any favours there. There we go. Right. So, um, these, this, let's say that it's going to go that way, like that, which I do like. Uh, this is going to be the front edge, so let's fold that in and glue it down. I feel this is going to be a really nice journal. I'm really enjoying it. I, I, it's so long since I did a journal. Um, I've almost forgotten how. Right, so that's down there so that's going to be our leading edge our front edge there let's just make sure that's stuck right so these get folded in there we go and let's just see what it looks like Oh, it's a bit, is it too long? I think it is a little bit too long, yeah. Don't know why that happened, but it happened. Let's just fold that in a little bit more. Just so we've got it right. And I just need to cut off that little bit now into the corner. Right, let's try that on for size then. Should be all right now, I think. That's fine. It's grand. Yeah. So that's going to go there. That's going to be our side pocket. And then we can put a journaling card or two into there. Um, need to ink it first. And possibly stitch round it, I think stitch around a lot of these and I don't want to stop doing that now because I, I like the look of it. I'm using ground espresso you don't need to ink at all <coughs> but you certainly don't need to ink with anything as dark as this. I just like it. It's actually a brown. I find vintage photo to be quite orangey um, and I don't want orange really. Well, that would go with this journal, but just carrying on with my ground espresso. Right, now the question is, do you want to make that two pockets, in which case you could sew up there. Would that look nice? Um, no, I'm just going to do one. I'm just going to do one. And I'm going to take it to the machine and sew all around it. Okay, so I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I've sewn around there, and I think it looks a lot better, actually. I quite like it. But I've now decided that I want it at this side. <laughs> I just... I want this at the bottom. And if it goes that way, that's at the top. Because I quite want to put on one of my 
little green leaves that I made on Sunday. I guess I could put that at the top. There's nothing stopping me. It looks quite nice. I've also got some little sort of tickety bits. Um, I've probably also got some green butterflies somewhere. Let's have a look. Let's have a look and see. Well, that's a green butterfly. That's a green butterfly. It's a little on the large side. Um, yeah, some cream ones. What are these? They're quite nice rusty coloured ones. Ah, oh, green. I knew I had green somewhere. Uh, oh, and another page of green. What else is the purple? Well, that's no good. Uh, right, so green. Let's try green. Let's get this out and see what size we need. Or if it's going to work, even. Um, I'd say that size. So let's see if I can fussy cut this fairly quickly. Not the world's speediest fussy cutter, guys, so be prepared. I find it difficult to talk while I'm fussy cutting. So talk amongst yourselves, as Gail would say. Do any of you watch Gail? Gail Gostinelli. She's lovely. Oh, I think I might have chopped his wing tip off there, but never mind, eh? I don't think he's feeling it. I'm bad enough at doing this when I've got all the time in the world. No mind when I'm trying to make a video. I've still got all that stuff, the fabric that I got from the scrap store to show you. It's amazing. But it didn't stop me going out yesterday and buying some more fabric. Because <laughs> I thought that, well, I did. I found the most perfect fabric for a journal cover for like January, winter time. Because for January, I think I'm going to do a sort of winter tide. Is that a word? I don't know. Um, yeah, kind of winter journal, you know, like blues and icy snow and stuff like that. I'll show you the fabric in a minute. Right, that's about as good as I can do. So yeah, that would go up there. That would look nice up there, actually. That may well be a solution. We can't get both that and that on, can we? No, that just looks daft. That just looks daft. So let's just put that one butterfly on there. And I, I like it. I'm happy with that. Let's give them a quick squeeze round with some ink. Just get rid of those white edges. There we go. Right. Perfect place for him. I do like this background that we got from the jelly print. It's amazing, isn't it? I mean, they look rubbish. Look, a pile of pants. And then you cut them down and they look all right. Not all. I think John Deere was well beyond saving. Let's just pop him there. Lovely. That's great. And then I can stick this down. So I'm just going to stick the big back one down first. Leaving room for your, your page to fold, you know, in the signature. So it's about there and it's about there. I think that's all right. Yeah, that's fine. 
that's great. Right, just press that down, make sure there's no ooziness. <coughs> we'll stick these side bits down and then that's a nice side pocket done. And covered up the reverse of the stamping, in the main part anyway. So back to folding where it was originally. Don't be silly. Right, there we go. That's that. That's lovely. I like that. And we've still got the gussets top and bottom. Oh, we've still got all three gussets, haven't we? Because I stuck it on the right way. Let's just press that into place. And there we have it, lovely side pocket. I haven't put any lace on there because it would look daft next to that one. Oh, postman, oh, that doesn't look very exciting. Looks like a letter. Um, so let's, where's our journal gone? Is it here? Yeah, it's under all of that lot. Let's just have a look then. What this looks like. It's gonna go there and that's gonna go there. So yeah, it's going to be opposite to that, opposite to this page. And I think that looks lovely. And we can decorate behind it because that's just a plain page. So yeah, we can do that. That would be possibly the next job. I don't know, I like to dart around. But I do like this belly band. It's gorgeous, isn't it? And, you know, when you're looking at it like like that it it all matches it's nice so yeah I think that was a good thing to do I like that we just need a, a card journal and card for underneath it or an envelope or something like that and that's another couple of things done in the journal that's great I'll just show you the fabric that I got yesterday I got this <laughs> look at it it's gorgeous isn't it with a big, that's a hair. It's definitely a hair by its feet. Uh, and this is a little rusty. And it's got all the acorns and berries and everything. It's very autumny. It's lovely. So that's for one journal cover. It might even be for this journal. I don't know. But this is another strong contender. Look at this. Look at that. It's beautiful, isn't it? That is really autumny. I mean, that just goes doesn't it it's perfect um so yeah that was the other one and then the last one is the one that i thought would do for january it's just beautiful it's my favorite look at that isn't that beautiful very wintry perfect so that was what I bought yesterday and I'll probably do another video later today showing what I bought from the scrap store. <laughs> Be prepared, there's a lot of fabric. Thanks for watching guys and yeah, our little journal's coming on. See you soon. Bye.